the drama, the trauma, the DC Extended Universe bullshit continues. Henry Cavill was told a lie. Returning in Black Adam, the promise from Dwayne Johnson, the purpose of having him cameo in Flash, the possibilities of Man of Steel happening, and a man, two men come along in James Gunn and Peter Safran, and they sit down with Henry Cavill, and they tarnish his entire life. He's just left The Witcher, he's doing season uh, three, and then he's leaving. His future in Enola Holmes is up in the air, obviously, because we don't know he's going to get a third one. And now he is no longer the Man of Steel. I hold James Gunn in high, high regards, you know, when you think of <laughs> superhero directors. Christopher Nolan is the greatest um, superhero director you'll ever get. You've got the Russo brothers, you've got Zack Snyder, who did this man so much justice. An incredible trilogy we got from Man of Steel to Batman v Superman and the Justice League Zack Snyder cut. <clears throat> People have opinions on Zack Snyder and that he, he didn't know how to handle Cavill's character, and I completely disagree. This is the greatest iteration of Superman we've ever seen, and I've seen all the original stuff. Um, I am annoyed, saddened. You know, they've just announced there's going to be a Superman film. A new Man of Steel film that apparently will explore his time on Metropolis. It won't be an origin story, <coughs> but it's going to be younger. So Cavill cannot be featuring that. And for me, you know, you can reboot a reboot a universe and have the people who were cast properly in it. If it's Ben Affleck as Batman, the greatest iteration of Batman, he, when you think of the comic book versions, he's got the build, he's got the voice, he's got the look, when he's Bruce Wayne, and this is a bad Bruce Wayne video, but there's casting that just is perfect. Him, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, and Henry Cavill, the holy trinity of what the DCEU is about. And, what, um, nine years later, Man of Steel... You know, it's been nine years since Man of Steel came out 2013. I feel like it's to be a shit show of a company. To be a piss take. You know, <clears throat> this guy is one of my favourite actors. And he can act. He's not a guy who's built big and can't act. He's that diverse ways of... He just knows what to do when he gets that script. He brought Geralt, Geralt to life um, in The Witcher. He brought Superman to life. And I'm so fucking annoyed that I'll never get to see him again. He was for me. Black Adam should never have come out. If you were just gonna feature him in there to give him a send off, it wasn't a send off. You literally just hear Black Adam v Superman. Now Black Adam means nothing because Dwayne Johnson's probably never going to appear in the company again. So you just. Made Dwayne Johnson milk things whilst James Gunn was there, by the way. You've made things with Superman pointless. What the hell is the point in Shazam and Aquaman and Blue Beetle? And I'm going to touch upon that in a full DC video. But I, I am appalled, <clears throat> annoyed. And no part of me will ever be able to accept that you want to just re. I get, I get you want to reboot. But you just reboot the character. You don't have to reboot the actor. You just slide him into back into the universe because he knows how to play Superman. He knows the script. He's a fucking actor at the end of the day. Does it, I just... I, I, I'm lost for words. You know, I was always a bigger Batman fan. But this guy made me fall in love with Superman. You know... Many people will be um, Christopher Reeves. Christopher Reeves is a phenomenal actor. Um, but uh, yeah, end of the day, it is what it is. Henry Cavill, I hope I, I hope I see him in something soon because <laughs> he has no upcoming films now. So yeah, fuck you, James Cameron. Cameron, <laughs> James Good, fuck you, James Good. I'll see what the DC has to offer, but at the moment, I have no faith. Because if I looked through the entire world, and this is me thinking, I can't think of anyone who could do a better job than Cavill. But 
That's not me saying I won't give him a chance. So, you guys let me down below in the comments what you think about James Gunn's dealing with this. How do you feel like Henry Cavill stepping down? I'm, most people will be happy with this. A lot of people don't give a shit about Zack Snyder and his characters and the cast he brought, you know? So, yeah. you guys let me down below in the comments what you think. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you, in, <laughs> see you soon for more. Goodbye.